Hey everyone, welcome to Horrible Gaming. My name is Nora and on today's video we are playing some Disney Dreamlight Valley. So on today's video we are working in the Sunlight Plateau again. I actually have a part one of this biome. If you want to go check out that video it will be linked in the video's description. Today I'm going to be continuing basically from what you're seeing right now which is a curved path. Now I do have an in-depth tutorial on how to create curved paths like you're seeing with a lot of different tips and tricks that I've learned through all of my Disney Dreamlight Valley building. But but eventually we're going to be moving Prince Eric actually to this biome and this was not actually my original plan for this whole entire area just in general though originally I really wanted to have Eric's castle on the beach but I'm honestly just running out of space on that biome I have a lot of other plans for it and Eric's home sadly just will not fit in that location so I thought moving his home actually over here into the sunlit plateau would be a really great idea just because the castle itself has a lot of really nice rich red colors and brown tones I was trying to go for a really nice overgrown castle sort of vibe tucked into the jungle and that is what today's video is going to consist of. Now during this video I did run out of a ton of materials in the path. Now the path that I'm using today uses so much clay it's ridiculous. So I ran out of that and I couldn't continue from what we finished on today's video. So expect a part three coming maybe even a part four or a part five. I'm honestly not even sure like I am still very early in the deck process on this new save. If you're new here, I had to actually restart, I think about three times now. So I still have a lot of item grinding to do and quests to also just finish up. So I'm not sure when these next parts are going to be coming to my channel, but just know they are going to be coming in the future. So while I gather resources needed to finish up the Sunlit Plateau, we'll probably be focusing on some other biomes in the meantime for Disney Dreamlight Valley. Anyways, just like in the first video of this biome, we are going to be making use of Nala's Waterfall quite a bit throughout the build process and I love this item because it kind of acts like terraforming in a way to add a lot more dimension kind of just like what we would see in the jungle but of course we're going to be reversing it and rotating it as needed just so it doesn't look really repetitive and that's what I'm using to really fill up this area and just through the whole jungle in general when we also rotate this item it adds a lot more texture and dimension just to the biome since we don't have any way to terraform this kind of gives the illusion that we are really tucked into a jungle so make sure if you are following this tutorial Tutorial to have plenty of the waterfall items in your inventory. I think I already have used about 20 of them so far. It's super helpful to be stocked up on items like this that really fill up a lot of space because then we're technically using less items and that means less things counting towards the item limit. So now that I have all that greenery filled in, it's time to start on Eric's castle and I'm gonna be using the Dazzle Beach path over here. I wanted to add something a little bit more vibrant that kind of looked elegant too in a way. And then I'm gonna be framing this in with with rocks and different types of greenery. I'm using the Mickey fountain kind of just as a guide for the dimensions. This is not actually going to be staying, but you can definitely use that fountain if that's all you have. I'm actually going to be using the Beauty and the Beast fountain for this location. Next, I'm going to be using the same rocks that we've been using throughout the plateau. If you don't have space for this because of the item limit, you can totally skip it and just frame with maybe bushes. Just like I say on all my Disney Dreamlight videos, I do a lot of like decoration ideas. Most of these don't stay. I feel like we will see an item increasement in the future just because there's a lot of updates planned and we are expected obviously to decorate. So my main goal is just for these videos to kind of help inspire individuals out there who may be just dedicating their decorating into certain biomes, maybe just their favorite ones in general, and of course help people out in the future when our item limit does increase. So just keep that in mind if you are low on items um, or you just don't have the space like I do right now a lot of these don't actually stay. In a perfect world, I wouldn't have to tear things down 24 seven, but sadly it's just the way it is right now. But I at least hope that these videos are inspiring somebody out there or maybe giving you some ideas for your favorite biome. So a lot of my inspo today for the front of Eric's home actually came from one of my older videos and it was like this tropical entry. So if you want a slower in-depth video on how to like do the whole entire layout for this, I will have that video linked for y'all. I did fast forward this footage a little bit just because I did have some issues where my footage was kind of messed up during the recording process so please bear with me but the layout is pretty easy we're kind of just doing a circle effect around this fountain and then framing it with some more flower pots and then we'll be connecting our dirt path to this location so this is that point during the video where my footage got messed up so please bear with me but lately I don't know if anyone else is going through this but every time I decorate if I don't go in and out of the decorating screen like 
zoom back into our regular gameplay mode. Sometimes like all the decorating that I've done doesn't actually save and I have to redo all of it. And that happened actually to me several times throughout this video. So bear with me with transitions because a lot of my footage got messed up for that reason. I try to avoid going in and out of that screen when I'm recording speed builds like this because then it makes editing a lot less stressful. But this was the first time it's done that to me in a very long time. Hopefully we'll have that patch in the future, but it is definitely an issue when it comes to my Disney Dream Life Valley content. Anyways, one of my biggest tips when you're doing these framed in walkways is to break them up with like the ferns or some sort of greenery so you can like access the blocked off areas. So that is what I'm doing on the right side of the castle. On the left side, I'm just gonna fill this in with a bunch of different greenery items and just like clutter it in to make it look overgrown. That's gonna be a spot where I won't be able to access and I don't need to access it anyways. So if you are somebody worried about things, you know, spawning over there and not being able to reach them, just make sure every little gap has something in place for uh, things not to spawn in that location. A lot of the times I get comments on like when I do heavily decorated builds like this, what if a resource or something spawns and I can't reach it and I have to remove items to be able to like pick it up. And I never have that issue with these builds because I'm literally filling in every gap possible on the areas I don't want to have to, you know, to remove items to reach something. So just keep that in mind. If you are trying to block off certain areas, make sure every little spot is decorated. I always leave also in each biome that I decorate in like little empty areas just for resources to spawn naturally in. Like on the other side of the pond by Nala in Simba's home, that spot is like literally empty and I'm leaving it alone so I can have things spawn over there. And it has been very successful for that. So just leave a little area on each biome if you're doing something that's heavily decorated like we're doing today so you can be able to access all those, you know, resources. So around this time of the video, that's when I started running out of resources to build with. But over here, I placed Wally's garden and this is actually where Wally's home is gonna be. So we're gonna have his garden kind of act as a transition for the castle. I was kind of thinking of this location being like a nursery or research center for Wally. So hopefully by part three for the Sunlit Plateau, I'll have everything I need to do Wally's little spot. But I thought it was a great way to kind of just find a home for Wally since the house that he has is really difficult to work with and I thought that it would kind of suit the vibe that I'm going for in the Sunland Plateau and it works as a great filler. So that's my plan for Wally's uh, truck and after that I have no idea what my plan is for the rest of the Sunland Plateau. I think I'm just going to do maybe some sitting areas. I don't want to do too much in this biome just because I am planning to decorate the Forest of Valor next. So I think next Disney Dreamlight video I'll finally be starting my new revamp of the Forest of Valor. But of course if there's any other biomes y'all are struggling with or need ideas for let me know in the comment section below just like I said earlier in this video I am constantly tearing things down and flattening to help give y'all ideas for your own valley so don't be afraid to ask for help or leave an idea on something you would love to see in the future after some final details here is how Eric's home ended up turning out and I absolutely love it I am so excited it has that overgrown but elegant as well jungle vibe to it that I was hoping for I hope that today's video brought you some Disney Dream Life Valley inspiration. Before this video ends, I do want to give a huge thank you to all of my channel members. A huge thank you to Cherry Blossom, Kavi, Z Toxic, Wisteria Crossing, Connor Adventure, The Bella Riffic, It's a Girl Crystal, Amanda, Mickey Koo, Cherry Dot Crossing, Baby Blue X016, Irish Lady 51, Opal of Wisteria, The Artsy Gamer, Dami, Cosmon, Madison Rachel, and Adriana Dawson. Thank you as always for the channel support and love and with that being said I hope that today's video brought you a ton of inspiration. Thank you so much for watching and have a horrible day.